This is now the eighth video in my tutorial series uh, animating this skeleton model and we left off where we're going to have a look at putting some materials onto the eyes and I decided that the eyes are a bit too shiny so the first thing that I'll do is select them and reduce the specularity somewhat and I think I'll use text in this instance and reduce it to 50% and I could also drop the heart as well that'll make a little less distracting in the shininess now I'm going to want to do some UV wrapping to the eyes and I'll go into edit mode select the eyes and in the UV editor the eyeball will appear and I believe this is unwrapped and a, a product of um, the make human export as part of the Collada file I'm not really positive on that now in the make human file we'll look in my local disk C program files and make human data rib data textures data in the textures data folder is found a series of images, TIFF images with specular color bump mapping, reflection mapping uh, as well as some alpha mapping and these are the different textures that I applied to the model that I showed in my last video and well I've already copied these to a directory on my desktop so we'll access that I'm only going to work with the eye image so I'll open that with a simple photo editor and the image is very nice it's a pretty cool image but I'm going to shoot for something more fantastic so I'm going to adjust it a bit I'm going to swap the RGB channels to get a more fantasy look then increase the saturation a bunch and the contrast as well and then I think I'll sharpen it some too to give it a more freaky sort of look then I'll come over and use the color picker and I'm not going to need this flesh tone so I'm going to get rid of that I'll spray paint that away using the airbrush tool and just get rid of that real quick like and then I'll use the color picker again and a paintbrush and I'm going to paint some veins into the eyes just to give them a look of being bloodshot and I won't try to do anything too special here partially because I'm really not that artistic in a painting program and partially because I don't really need to Now this image can be opened again after it's applied as a UV wrap and and we can um, edit it and reopen that blend file and the edited image will end up as part of the blend file which I found to be pretty convenient. Now I'm going to save this into my tutorial directory here 
and I want to place it in a special directory because equally I can edit it and I can lose it and not be able to load it into my project file and come back to Blender open that image Hmm. Something seems funny here. Ah, there it is. So we'll open that. It's on my desktop in this folder. And is eyes color tip. Open that up. Use the A key to select all. Grab along the Y axis and just drop that right on top of that image. And that should be good. So, the next thing to do is to come down into the materials panel and apply text face. Now let's render that and see what it looks like. I suppose I can bring my camera a little bit closer to that. So look through the camera view. Shift and F. Go into object mode first. Shift F and use the scroll reel to zoom in and render that. And as you can see, the bloodshot eyes are showing nicely. And you'll notice that the iris is still black. That's because the iris is a separate object and we still have to apply that UV map to it. So let's do that now. I'll select the iris tab into edit mode make sure it's all selected and I have to open that image again for this object so we'll open it up The iris comes out to make human looking a little bit funny. So we're going to have to size it a bit. First off I'll place it onto the image, scale it up, and then scale it along X. And a little bit more. And that should be good. And then the same thing, come down into the material panel and apply text space. And we'll render that and have a look. Now he's starting to look a lot cuter. Well, actually, I guess it's a she skeleton, but well, who can tell, eh? So. Um, that's a texture onto the eyes and it's pretty much time to start looking at parenting the armature to the skeleton and see what we can do with it. So I'm gonna sign off for this video and we'll come back in the next video looking at parenting our armature to our skeleton mesh. So I'll see you in that video.